Hello, this is the Dream, and welcome back to another video. Today, I have a actually working blaze farm, and I'm actually going to show you how to make it, unlike the previous version. This, of course, uh, is fully automatic. All you have to do to actually supply it is give it glass bottles, but then you'll get lots and lots of builder's tea. Uh, this will also produce additional wood, uh, saplings, and maybe apples if you want to keep those. So, uh, yeah, let's get into building us. Let me grab the parts first that I will be using. Uh, I'll be building this on a windmill, so I need windmill bearing, windmill sail. I'm going to be using wrench to rotate blocks because I can't place them properly. Puller, mechanical saw and mechanical harvester. Then I'll just grab log, you can use any kind of building block. And then glue. Place your windmill bearing here. Ignore that. And this. I have had to build this. This is the third time. So build out however large you want your farm to be. Then put your deployer right out here. Grab a barrel. And just load it up with dirt. Two stacks works. I'm just going to put a little bit more because why not. Make sure this is all glued together. And then just apply a bunch of sails. This is temporary. If you want it to look nicer, do it where you'll be uh, applying it once it's finished. So once you got all your sails, turn it on. I'm going to turn it the other direction. And then we just have to wait for this to finish. As it goes, fill in any of the gaps here. And there we go. This is our perimeter. Get rid of those, the barrel, and you can get rid of the dirt. And the deployer here on the end. And now to actually build this. I'm going to be using a construction wand from uh, construction wand just to make this faster. Fill this up with your block saplings can be planted on. I'll get oak saplings for this. Let me grab some bolts. Here we go. First step, placing your saws. Then your storage. I'm going to be using bolts. Then you need a uh, portable storage interface. Go here, then out here we'll be putting another one. When temporary break, I'm going to break this glue because we're not going to be using it. Turn this so it's points down. Then set all of these two saplings. I'm just going to build that up one block. Place your windmill sails. I'm going to be doing just this many, because why not? And I forgot I need to put temporary blocks there first so I can place the mechanical harvesters. There we go. Now fill this in. Don't know why those are rotated in the other direction. And there we go. And then you can activate it. Let me clear the weather real quick. And unlike me, you should probably remember to glue everything. So temporary blocks there and there. Glue it all. Break those temporary blocks. And then you can turn it on. There you go. And then just fill this with saplings. 
There we go. This is how we'll get our leaves. Now, shaft, mechanical belt, basin, mechanical mixer, blaze burner, fluid pipe, mechanical pipe, tank, and water. Then I'm also going to grab framed glass. You can use any block. Oh, right, I forgot funnels. I'm going to be using brass because they're quicker. So brass funnel, shaft, shaft, then drag this out, put an item vault here. I have it like this, so you can extend this out to be really big if you want. I'm just going to be doing a 2x2 two two one, and then shorten this so there's one block after that. Put a blaze burner at the end, a basin, brass funnel, then put a mechanical mixer on top. Put a pipe, mechanical pump, fluid pipe, and remove the bottom pipe. Put glass around here, and then place water to create an unlimited water source. So this will give us the leaves we need, this will give us the uh, this will give us the water we need. Now we just need to get the milk. So for that, we're just going to build a milk farm, which is super simple. Well, there we go. I'm going to be putting a tank here. Hold the milk. I need a drain for this. Make sure that this is all going so the arrows on the drains point towards the basin. Deployer here, brass funnel on the back. A block of space for the deployer. Then we put a cow in this glass. And then a loop of belts. Why well, want this place correctly? There we go. Brass wall, make sure this one is pointing out with a filter of milk bucket. Give the player a bucket, milk bucket, whatever. So have the milk already move. So then we can apply a filter or a smart pipe. Then you can either use a filter and then drag builder's tea from JEI, or you can just take builder's tea, which is what I'm going to do. Smart fluid pipe, builder's tea, a mechanical pump into some tanks, and from there, or another mechanical pump, a, a mechanical spout, or oh no, it's just a spout. And mechanical belt here to here, barrel on this side, storage on this side, I'm just going to use a barrel, funnel, funnel. I'm going to put glass bottles in this first one. And this all should work. Now all we gotta do is power it. So let me just clear out my inventory real quick. Make room for the powering components. Clear the weather again because apparently it wants to rain. So grabbing the powering components, gearboxes, gears, cogwheels, case chain drives, shafts, and I'm pretty sure this is it. I'm also going to grab a creative motor right here. 
So I'll put a gearbox here, which is where I'm going to power this. I'm going to speed it up all the way. Or actually, 128. So gear here to power this pump, and then another one to power this pump. Place this with chain drive or just cogs. I'm going down to here to power this, but this is going the wrong direction, so I'll just add vertical gearbox. And bam, now it's going the right direction. So another vertical gearbox here, cog to power that. Now we're getting water in here. Um, how do I want to do this? I'll just do it like this. Uh, two encased chain drives, a cog wheel, another chain drive. Actually, hmm. I'll come back to that. So just continue these chain drives. There's then a vertical gearbox. More chain drives to power this deployer. There we go. And the back here is some uh, very messy cog work. And back there, a cog. There we go, got that all powered. Now we just have to get the leaves delivered and this loop around. So for that, I'll do two cogs, gearbox, vertical gearbox in the center there, uh, two shafts, chain drives, and bam, now we'll loop around collecting milk. Then all we have to do, case chain drives, and vertical gearbox there. No, that's wrong. There we go. So now when this loops around, it should deposit everything into here. And I forgot very important major parts of this. So let me just go over here. Because smart. Um. Smart shoot into a depot, mechanical arm, targeting the blaze burner to deposit, and the depot to take items from. I'll put this here, and we got a filter. I'll just do a list filter. I'll put logs and sticks into this stick there we go so those will be loaded into that depot then i'll grab more framed glass a lava bucket frame glass here glass funnel there which I don't want to destroy those. I'll grab another list filter and put apples and saplings into this because we don't want apples or saplings. You can have these go to something else, but I just will dump them straight out. And then the front here, we just have to put oak leaves as the filter. So let me just load these back into there. There we go. Then to power this, I'll take a shaft, a cogwheel here, and a vertical gearbox. It's powered. And then bam! This is all working. If we come around the front, we'll see we're getting builder's tea. You can leave this on, it'll be automatic. You can even make this large enough to put this under it. It may have issues with saplings, so keep that in mind. You might want to set this to a filter that disallows saplings. Once again, clear the weather. But yeah, that's that's it. A finished builder, Steve Farm. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe to this video. It would help out a lot, and thanks for watching.